And so we return to Project Einar Yar, ladies and gentlemen. Previously, we were at the Goham hit, finishing off the evil Dr. Gold. But now we shall enter into the second episode. <laughs> wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I was previously been busy with the, the edge of time. But you know, we're back. We're back to the old snowy bits and all that fun stuff. Hold on a second. I think there might be stuff here about the second mission. Yes, there is this. Escape from White Hell Penal Colony and neutralize Warden Bite's new Einarial project before it goes to mass market. So yeah. Looks like the looks like the whole bit with Project Einhardyar doesn't exactly stop with Dr. Gold. Bloody Altea Roar. Have I seen you before? Maybe not. I can't remember. Anyway, that's enough with the chit chat. And immediately begin! Once again, not too easy, not too hard. Okay, already starting off with a bang, eh? Oh dear. Oh, hold on a second. I need to turn on my run again. I was running sneaky doom for a bit and had my run set to zero. Hold on a second. Can you come here for a second? I need, I need a gun. Thank you. Most appreciated. Thank you. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Shall I use my famous kick? That's the most effective bit. Hello, you're a different one. Ooh, ouch. Right, remember. Not exactly the easiest difficulty, so... Got some reorientation to do. If, you're, if, you're, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> also, for some reason, I have... Some old sickness again. Remember the earlier episodes of Iron Hiryara? Where I'm sick? Well, it happened again. I'm sick again. Cop and here and there. <coughs> Yeah, like that. I have no idea what's with it with me, Ein Hariyar, and Sickness. Stop that. I said stop that. Remember, don't save too much. Okay. I think we're good? Right. Save. Don't forget. Come on. I have too much saves. I need to clean up a little bit. No, sorry. Caps always on. There we go. Good. 75. Good, good. Things are going smoothly. Except for you. I'll grab that. If you don't mind. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, right. Forgot I had this. Usable? No. Also, hmm. Still not quite sure about jumping and crouching. Still haven't yet found any required. Oh, hi. Yeah, I thought for a second you were gonna open. But no, you open a different way. Right. Oh, no, I forgot. I should have been kicking you. Gosh. My apologies. Wasting ammo left and right. Okay, where are you? Uh oh. Uh, perhaps it'll be a good idea if I walk out outside right now. Yes, I think that'll be a good idea. That'll be a good idea. I'm currently out of ammo? Oh, dear. This is troubling. Um, hmm. Pinch troubling. Set up mine. And maybe one here too. Oh, more shotgun shells, don't mind if I do. And some health packs, which I shall need. Verily. Thank you for the ammo. Come on. Where are you, big guy? So you shut out darts. Anything else that you do other than that? Nothing more. Except die horribly. Excuse me, I wasn't paying attention. You were saying? You were saying something. And not a single one of you stuck on the mines. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Also, yeah, I figure. Well, I might as well get myself some easy, easy kills over here. Come on, come on. There we go, another one. I'm just kick you through the, through the fence because that you can do that. Yes, you can indeed do that. Can't open that. Hmm. Nothing here. Wait, did I try opening that? No, nothing. Nothing here. There's a secret up there, but I don't think I can reach that normally. Probably need to do some sick rocket jumps or something. Ah, an elevator. Of course. It requires the blue key, which I have. Hi. How are you doing? Name's Juno. Just figured I'd stop by and say hi to you and your friends. You have something that belongs to me. Well, not exactly belongs to me, but belongs to me to be destroyed. 
be good out of us a button. Okay, so... Is the exit going to open? I think this is the exit. Yes, it is. Okay, that's the exit. <clears throat> Remember there being secrets up there, so how exactly can I reach it? I need to circle around there, through there, through here, but I can't possibly reach that unless there's a thing here that can rise up. But it doesn't look like there's anything that can rise up, which brings me to my logical conclusion, along with the fact that there's a ballistic knife behind this fence. Jumping and crouching is now in business. Yes, yes, looks like yes. I, I concur. I concur deeply. With a good diagonal jump, I can easily reach inside here. And yeah, yep. There you go, there's the confirmation. I keep on circling, I keep on confusing myself whether or not jumping and crouching is a lot in the previous episode. I didn't think that perhaps it is. I'm just overthinking it. See, look at this. No possible things that I could use that could raise things to reach that crate. Logical deduction, Mr. Holmes. Logical deduction dictates that perhaps, yes, jumping and crouching is allowed. Now, if only I can jump up there without embarrassing myself. Yes, thank you. Also, this secret. I've trained myself diligently in the art of platforming in Doom, especially with GZ Doom. Let's see, fine. Yeah, there we go. Good. Good. I've been taught well. Taught well I am. <laughs> 200 armor for moi. Excuse me? You dare to disrupt my happy moment? Destruction to be And a browning automatic rifle for me. <laughs> good. Good, good. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Solid work. Bloody detour. It's like I never left. 618. That could have been better. Well, it's my first time. Whatever. It's it's not going to be any better. It's already the best. Look at that. 100% for all. Of course, that's only just the first map. I imagine things will get much more tricky. Okay. Juno's ears were filled with chaos, blaring alarm sirens and furious orders barked by the block lords as reinforcements filled the halls behind her. They hadn't expected such a bloody escape. She'd caught them off guard. She wouldn't be that lucky again. Exhausted from the journey and tragically underarmed, only nightmare visions of her appalling future in white hell gave her the strength to keep running, until at last she came to the empty shower rooms. She made quick work of the floor grate and Vanished like a rat into the darkness. The stench hit her stomach like a mist. I'm in the sewer level. Of course, you've always got to have one in every game. Well, let's see if this is a uh, a fun romp to the to under the deep dank sewers, or if I'm going to suffer horribly under the maze-like structure of most sewer levels. The answer shall be revealed once I'm done with these giant dogs. Bit big, aren't they? Must be upgraded with the Einherjar spirit. The serums, I mean. Super dogs. Also, I'm wasting ammo. What am I doing? Yes, I can. Watch. <sighs> not, not, not like that. Like that. See? Hmm. That's how I'm gonna do that. Not by missing a whole four shots at you like a loony, but actually hitting you like a master. Excuse me, did you just disappear? What just happened there? I don't know. But anyways, yes, I am running out of ammo quickly. Let's treat these... Treat, excuse me, I'm, my, my spelling is acting up again. <coughs> right. Right? Are we good? I think we're good, yes, okay. What I was about to say is, perhaps we should conserve our ammo a little bit more. Yeah, okay, no, I, I don't think 
it disappeared. I think it just turned into a corpse and I just wasn't looking at it. Hey, it could be me. Okay, ballistic knives will be at full power today. Being closed up quarters means I can just immediately- Oh, hold on a second. Can I actually shoot through these? Oh, gosh. Better try to be careful so that I don't shoot overshoot it and lost my knife in the process. Don't forget to save now. And then yellow card for that. Okay. Hello, dogs. Line them up. Good. Very good. Excellent. I'm proud of you. I'm indeed proud of you. Do that again. Line them up. Come on. Be a good boy now. I don't like dogs, but, you know, you, if you could just be a good being that follows my orders occasionally, I think we can be, um, at the very least, frenemies. Hmm. That's it, huh? 